It's a product we're more and more familiar with nowadays, hand sanitizer. Catherine Weiner says it's something she uses every day. I have some in my purse, actually. It's a coconut. She says she hopes it will prevent the spread of the swine flu, but isn't sure. It seems to help. It's no substitute for real hand washing, but, you know, given that or nothing, it's, it's de it definitely helps. That's microbiologist Louise Monroe. She studies the effects of hand sanitizers on killing germs. To test the effectiveness of hand sanitizers, Monroe put the product on a sterile dish. She then put germs on the dish and let them grow. Looking at the spots where she put the sanitizer, you can see most germs did not grow. The whole issue is prevention. Dr. Lennox Archibald specializes in infectious diseases. He says sanitizers aren't perfect, but they're a step in the right direction. Yes, it's not guaranteed it's going to prevent it, but it can reduce the probability of transmission. Hand sanitizer doesn't kill off just the harmful bacteria and viruses. It eliminates almost all germs, some that may be helpful to our bodies. Still, experts aren't too worried. There's no evidence really that suggests that um, using hand sanitizers has systemic complications. And it could kill off some of your good, but we've got lots of the good ones on us, and they quickly recolonize. Catherine says she may always have the gel in tow, but... I use it as a substitute. I'd prefer to wash my hands. A substitute she hopes will keep her healthy. Vic Michalucci, WUFT News.